30 inch JTX wheels and the all chrome FTS kit with the green. Undefeatable. You What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a really cool build coming into the shop today, so it's going to be an exciting day. I hope you guys are excited. If you guys haven't checked out the video, we just got back from Fresno at the McGoy's facility, so make sure you guys check out that video. Drop a like, drop a comment. I love you guys. Road to 100K, let's get this bread. Make sure, hey, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100K, and I love you guys for allowing me to be this close, so let's get this bread, baby. Something from uh, Ford fans on the channel to start the day off. Got this 01 F-150. Sweet peach of a truck out here today with the 2614 Archons on it. I ain't mad at it. Them Archon Curvises are a beautiful wheel, and I don't get to see them in chrome too much. 35s and the 2614s, super clean. The white and chrome goes really well together. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a Ford gang comment below if you're a part of the Ford gang. I'm always trying to show love to my Ford people. We got a 14 to 18 body style getting a seven inch today. Some hard cores. Ain't nothing wrong with a rough country and some hard cores. Come on, me. It's actually going to be pretty similar to a build as this one is. This one's 24s, 35s on the Furies. Your insecurities don't bother me, John. I'm just letting you know. A little rough country, a little 24, a little 35. We're doing a retorque on this one. We do a 500 mile retorque on all the lift kits that we do. So that'll give you a pretty good idea of what that one's going to look like when it's done. Once John stops it'll get to work. Look at John, actually working today. I didn't go, I didn't go to jail. We're finishing up our red 1500 inside. This beautiful truck that we built a couple months ago pulled up. Figured I'd show you guys. 2024 Denali 2500 Ultimate with the Vader Chrome on the front. Gotta have the McGoy's kit. Billet accent pieces. It is the best lift kit on the market, hands down. You guys know the vibe. We got the 26 by 14 Akimbo's. JTX has such a nice wheel, especially in the black and mill. They really can't miss when it comes to black and mill. 2614s with the chrome spike lug nuts, and you gotta run Furies on it. 37, 14, 50, 26 Fury MTs. Fury has a total tire protection plan. So shout out to Fury for always taking care of their customers even when they have issues off-road. They do come with a tire protection plan. We got the matching upper control arms up here. We get traction bars on it. You got right we did with the matching traction bars in the back. Absolutely beautiful. Love the way this truck turned out. I, did, I think we did do the matching fender flares on this. This one had the matte black and we swapped it to the gloss black fender flares. Beautiful truck. Always nice to see, uh, see the nice builds come back to the shop every now and then so you guys can see them. Oh! We finished up our GMC today. I love the red color. I'm a big fan of the burgundy. 24 by 12 hardcores with the 35, 1250, 24 gladiators. We used to put a lot of gladiators on trucks and we really don't do it as much anymore because we have uh, ultimately found the Furies and I really do believe that the Furies are the better tire, but I love the way this truck looks. You can't beat 
the look of the Gladiators. Got that nice rough country up front. 2412 hardcores and the Gladiators. Beautiful build in and out same day. Started it this morning. Gotta love it when they're in and out same day. Cause I, I don't think I'd put it in the video. Look, Justin's got a set of wheels for sale that I'm trying to get sold for him. It's not, it's not the 24s over here, even though I love the 24s on this truck. That KG1 is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen for you guys. It's a set of 22 by 12 KG1s with the floating center caps, and it does come with some nittos. So make sure you guys hit me up if you guys are interested in buy, buying a set of wheels. Some good KG1s and some good nittos to go on your Chevy or GMC, but I love the way that Justin's truck looks. The black and milled wheels have always been my favorite, and the trail graphs are absolutely beautiful. And uh, ironically, I don't think it's anybody that he knows, but there's a black GMC, a Denali, with some 24s that pulled in right in front of him. And we're putting some new tires on it. I'll show you guys that one once we put the new tires on it. Don't pull it too far. What you, what you think of that? More clean, bro. That ain't no that's joke. Biggest, that's what's in the same truck, bro. I told you all the place to build another That ain't no joke. That motherfucker is a. Woo! They look better off. They look better off. Nah, off. nah you're yeah. crazy, bro. That motherfucker. You're anyway. crazy. Oh my god, they rolling in deep. That's wild. I like to keep people involved in the videos. Look, I got something super cool to show y'all today. I put a video of me cutting, not me cutting, but I was holding one of the pieces of your fender. So when you go watch this video, we're cutting your truck and it looks a lot worse than it does. He was real scared about the fender modification. So it's my guys, 14 to 18 body style GMC. We got the 22, no, 24, sorry. 24. got the 24 inch TIS wheels. TIS is one of my favorite chrome wheels of all time and the 37 inch gladiators, but even better. I just got back from Fresno last week and we went to the McGoy's facility. So I got a whole, you guys know I'm, McGoy's fan anyway, but I got, I got a whole new appreciation for why I love McGoy's. Steve and Nick at McGoy's are the nicest people. Steve's family, the nicest people, nicest facility, just a huge family up there. And I absolutely love it. Even more reason why you need a McGoy's kit on your truck. But here, we'll back up a little bit just to show some love to the to, to my guy's truck over here. Put him in the video. I really do like this. The silver, the silver on the truck looks great. I love the silver because it just adds a little color underneath. So speaking of color, Walk with me, walk with me. So we built this truck for a guy named Kevin a long time ago. This color is crazy. This color is absolutely crazy. I don't even know what color this is. I'm gonna have to ask. So we built this, this is like a 2023. This was one of the first refreshed 1500s that we had ever lifted right when they first came out. And we did a full 12 inch chrome FTS kit. So some 30, uh, 30 by 16 JTXs and 42 inch Furies. It's got the chrome front cross member, the chrome upper control arms, chrome rear traction bars. Obviously it's a beautiful, truck uh, this is right around the time when we went to the rick ross show for the first time so it's been almost two years because rick ross is coming up in about three weeks the color on this truck the truck has been sold since then and bought by somebody else locally and i just had to show you guys the color on this truck it's like a lime green or something. i don't even i don't even know what color to call this but it's parked in the sun it's beautiful and it's just like i feel like going somewhere in a truck like this there ain't no privacy there ain't no incognito mode no nothing like even with the red wheels i feel a little bit out there but you you pull up in something like this everybody in the county knows where you're at at all times so i mean if you're trying to sneak around a little bit don't do it in something like this but hey i want to show you guys real quick we did like i said we did this truck like two years ago and i would be doing myself and you guys on the channel a disservice because we'll probably never see this truck again it ain't been over here in two years and it may not be back for another two years let me know what you guys think this color is called i'm gonna ask them before they leave because i'm sure they said it was a black truck then it got wrapped some kind of red and now it's green i'm a fan i really am i'm, I'm not gonna lie and most of the guy y'all heard a couple of the comments in the clip when they first pulled up but let me know what you guys think of the color in the comments you guys this is why we don't do 42s on a, on a 12 inch lift for those of you that are wondering why we can't do 42s it had to be cut a good bit and i'm sure it still scrubs a little bit but the 30 inch jtx wheels and the all chrome fts kit with the green unbeatable you can't beat that Ooh. so funny story i'm gonna just to tell you a quick story I got people in the comments that love to see me spin center caps, and I broke a set of center caps a couple months ago. Sitting out in a video, I was spinning them and the cap fell off. So I try not to mess with people's center caps too much anymore, but I gotta show love to the JTX with the floating center caps. I don't even remember what, I think it's a Realm maybe, I can't remember what the name of the wheel is, but that's a freaking beautiful wheel. And you don't see 42s and 30s on a 12 inch too much. Most people gotta do a 15 inch lift. Cause we did do a good amount of cutting on this on this truck. 
I'm not gonna show it too much, but it's, it's, it's pretty obvious. Having that all chrome lift is just, that's wild. That color is crazy. I gotta ask them what color this is. You know what they need to do? They need to get with my boy Ty and get some of that interior dye so they can have the interior done too. There ain't nothing like pulling up to the truck meet and your truck's green as hell and then you open up the inside and the whole inside of the truck is green as hell too. That's the craziest color I've ever seen. And I love it too though. Normally I would hate something like this, but that's freaking beautiful, bro. Let me know what you guys think in the comments because that's crazy. That's one of the nicest colors I've ever seen on a wrap in my life. I had to put that one in the video. Let me know what y'all think. He said that the color is a matte neon green. And I freaking love it, bro. I'm sad it's leaving. Maybe we'll see it at Atlanta Truck Invasion tomorrow. Don't come in my comments if you don't like that color. Ooh, let's get this bread, baby. I brought my Odom's detailing shirt today just for you. I hadn't put it on yet because I got the hoodie on, but I got it in my truck. Ooh, the bald mud grass, don't do that. That's messed up. Matt's up here today. Matt's the only person that I ever let wash my truck, like ever. Pretty sure you are the only person that's washed this since it's been rebuilt with the lift kit almost a year ago. And it's disgusting right now, but I have to get the truck clean because it's going to Atlanta Truck Invasion this weekend. I got a call a couple days ago that they need a vehicle in the booth and it's going in the booth. Yeah. You, you like the, uh, I didn't do that actually. I saw the F me daddy over there. <laughs> I didn't do that one either. <laughs> I didn't do that one or the other one. I, I didn't know that it said that over there. That's yeah, terrifying. That's F me daddy. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's great. Glad that won't focus on the camera. <laughs> well, you have the keys. I'm going to let you uh, do what you do. She's dirty, boy. And uh, hopefully she looks good for the show on Saturday. I'm going to drop it off tomorrow after work. And if you guys are at Atlanta Truck Invasion, come by and see me. I'll be in the KG1 booth. Let's get this bread. Head, baby. Ooh. All right. Oh, Matt driving that thing. I don't get to see people drive it ever or hear people drive it. Look at all that money in there. Hey. hey I don't need to pay you nothing then. I don't need to pay him nothing, all that money in there. Man, I don't care what y'all say, that truck sounds good. finished up it looks good yeah I, I always forget how much i love the red some of the clips uh, i'm gonna I, i'm gonna forget to put it in the video but matt did film some of the beautiful clips of the truck that you guys are gonna see in this video so shout out to matt for being partially my camera guy today and taking care of the truck before we go to atlanta truck invasion and i'm not gonna drive this home tonight so i'll see you guys when we head to the the show tomorrow Atlanta Motor Speedway today, dropping off the old bow tie to be in the KG1 booth tomorrow. I'm not gonna do too much filming today. We're dropping the truck off. We're gonna go have some dinner tonight and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning when we head to the show. Let's get this bread, baby. Get this bread, baby. That's what I'm talking about.